Hey everybody! Um, I want to do a little video about uh, Beat Detective and uh, drum editing in general. And also uh, maybe talk a little bit about sort of tracking what you should do possibly when you're tracking drums. Um, as usual, I don't have a, uh, a uh, script, so we're just gonna rush through it. Um, the main focus of today's tutorial will be drum editing uh, by using Beat Detective. So I've got a uh, a little selection, at the start of a song here, and I'm just going to show you guys what Beat Detective does. So I'm basically just going to select. Oh, come on. Okay. Rule number one: When working with any kind of uh, editing, especially with drums or anything that has like multiple microphones on it. Um, create a mix group. You can do this by doing Command G. It brings up a group, and we're going to call this group for drums. And then we can go to the attributes, and we see that volume mute is uh, gonna gonna be automated. Uh, is gonna be linked. So this means you can uh, you can turn the, the volume of one drum up or one uh, channel up, and uh, you'll sort of preserve the balance of the drums, which is pretty handy when it comes to mixing. Um, and then you also see we've got it as a mix edit group, which means that anything you do editing wise will uh, be mirrored across all tracks. Like for example, selecting. Uh, we can uh, you know make a selection here, break that. This happens along all the tracks. So this is a really important functionality to to just sort of be aware of and, and to use uh, as much as possible. So right now we have got a uh, twenty bar selection here with of course a little bit of a count in. Um, and uh, we've got our drum selected, so what we're going to do is just load up Beat Detective, which I believe is Command Numpad 8. Now, Beat Detective is a great um, is a great tool. Uh, the first thing you want to do, uh, actually we can run, run through just some of the things. You've got uh, your different operations that you want to be doing. You can uh, create a tempo map by um, um, by placing uh, tempo markers custom tempo markers along here which means that uh, which we'll get back to a little bit later you can uh, extract a, a groove template which is also uh, similar which means for example like if you have drums you really like the feel of the drums you can apply them to uh, sort of MIDI elements for example uh, or uh, or things like that, just to make things fit in. What we're going to be looking at today for drum editing is region separation and uh, region conform and then edit smoothing. Now the first thing you want to do, you want to make sure that um, you want to make sure that Beat Detective knows what it's looking at. Right now it says that the start bar is 1-1, one, one, uh, bar 1, which is correct, but it says that the end bar is 5, which obviously is not correct. So what we want to do is just do capture capture selection, and that will make sure that uh, Beat Detective is working with the the selection that you're doing. Because if if you don't do that, then it's not going to understand uh, what the hell's going on. Uh, we can also go through the uh, the um, sort of granularity of uh, what we're going to be doing, and. Um, and let me show you what Beat Detective does. What you want to do is analyze the track. And it's going to analyze each of the separate tracks. Okay, right. So it's it's analyzed now. Now, this uh, sensitivity slider, which was grayed out, is now become available for us to use. And as we drag this up, you can see it's finding significant, uh, sort of important important events within the audio. So it, it'll notice transients like as you can see here on the kick drum. On the kick drum here it's, uh, it's noticing uh, that there's a uh, hit uh, here on the snare, it's noticing that it's a hit, there's a hit, and, and this is applied across all the tracks. Basically just picking out all the transients. Uh, it's lost this little kick drum hit there, so we might want to just give it a bit of a tweak. No, okay, so this is, could be 16, no, yeah. There we go, and then we just adjust it out so that we're getting basically what it is we want to be uh, to be working with. And then this will um, 
create trigger points uh, across the audio. Now, uh, if we have a listen to uh, to our drums uh, to begin with, I've, I've got a click track here as well. Uh, this uh, track was done in 108. Eight. So you sort of have to know um, what tempo the track is is in for this to really uh, work. But um. So as you can hear, it's it's quite a loose, uh, it's it, it's quite a loose groove, you know, like the kicks are a little bit um, uh, inconsistent. Beat Detective is a great way to um, uh, to really uh, quickly and uh, quite easily remedy this, and I'm going to show you how. So now that we have um, selected, you know, fine tweaked all our uh, all our um, uh, region sort of uh, our transient markers here we can hit separate now what Pro Tools is does is uh, moves cuts all of these different sections into separate regions and now you can go to region conform now this is basically uh, quantization and we're going to lock these regions to the grid We've got uh, various controls such as strength, which will um, dictate a certain percentage of the distance towards the uh, the quantization point um, that it will go. Like let's say, uh, if we have this on zero, and we hit conform, nothing will happen. If we have this uh, halfway, and we hit conform, each separate individual region will move half the distance towards where it's supposed to be, or where uh, Beat Detective feels that it's uh, supposed to be. So I think for just this exercise, yeah, if, if you untick it, this is 100%. So we're just going to uh, let all these be unticked and just work in 100% uh, in, um, mode. Actually, I'm just going to jump back, because I think I'm probably, yeah, here, for example, um, this trigger point has been set at the loudest point of this kick hit, which ooh, is actually clipping quite badly, um, of this kick drum hit. But as you can see, the transient sort of starts beforehand. So what we can do is put on a pad, which basically means that uh, when we hit separate, the cut will happen 20 milliseconds before the sync point. So if we hit here, bang, see 20 milliseconds, and this will apply to all of them, which will you know make sure that you're uh, conserving um, as many of sort of the transients as you can. And obviously, you know it's not always perfect, so you do sort of have to. But uh, for the purpose of this uh, this demonstration, I think um, this should be quite adequate. Okay, so we're going to jump down to region conform, and we're going to hit conform, and bang, as we can see. Uh, regions have been shuffled around to sync up these points here with let's put the grid at a little higher resolution as you can see all these sync points are now bang on the money and um, if we listen to it There now, as you can of course uh, hear, it's it's glitchy and uh, crackly because of all the breaks. So what we can do is to go here and hit. Um, well, for starters, we have to remake our selection there, and then we can do fill gaps, fill gaps, which will basically take the right handmost region and move its boundary to the left until it meets the other region. This can be good, but again. It's an automatic process, so you don't have full control over uh, over the uh, uh, zero crossings. So you can still get clicks and pops and stuff. So they have a fill and crossfade, and I think yeah, a crossfade of five milliseconds should be just fine, just to sort of make sure that you don't get any clicks and pops, and you just hit smooth, and it goes through. Uh, connects, moves all the the boundaries together to create a seamless uh, connection. And then, uh, as you can see, it uh, creates the crossfades. Here's what I prepared earlier. Uh, <laughs>
takes a little while. This is why I cut down the selection of uh, you know the audio that we were working with. You can do this. Uh, yeah, I would often do this in chunks if I'm going through a song. You know, do a couple bars there and then a couple bars there, maybe four or eight at a time, um, which also means it's easier to make sure the beat detective isn't being an idiot. Okie dokie. So here we go. Here are our new and wobulous drums that are actually in time. Whoops. So yeah, as you can see here, there is a been a slight issue with some flaming going on, so we can actually just delete that and uh, delete. Uh, we're just gonna fade in here, and let's just see how this sounds. Okay, so this one's sort of slightly out of sync just because uh, of Beat Detective. So again, you know, sometimes you have to go change uh, and sort of shuffle around things. But other than that, you've got some uh, consolidated drums that uh, sound um, pretty in time with, uh, with what's going on. Now, obviously, you know, it's not sort of a, a performance fixer. It's more of a, you know, a tool you can use if you really need to... to um, uh, you know, change stuff around. So I'm gonna command Z myself back to this point, and I'm gonna make a selection. Let's see, something like this, just to demonstrate another cool feature with Beat Detective. Now, region separation. Uh, we've gone through this all this jazz. Um, I'm going to just basically get sort of uh, kick and uh, snare hits in here for this example. And then we want to hit separate, back down to region conform. Now what we can do is uh, add some swing, for example. So we can put a, uh, a quarter note swing to it. Yes, I believe so. Whoa! Now, uh, remember uh, what I said about this selection window being uh, important to uh, to remember to make sure that it's reading the the right selection. This is why. So that was you know very enlightening. Um, I hope. Let's go capture selection. Bang. Conform. There we go. There, you got a nice sort of quarter note swing there. You know, it's uh, how about a uh, uh that's a cool way to uh, you know, uh, make sure your drums are in time and uh, easily do this. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Next video, I'll be looking at Elastic Audio and also uh, some of the other uh, um functions of Beat Detective such as the Beat Bar market generation and um, uh, setting up uh, sort of custom tempo maps for for uh, some quite interesting stuff really. So stay tuned, remember to uh, like and subscribe if you like and want to see more and uh, other than that you know go out there play around with this and make some tunes and uh, have a good day. See ya!